So today I'll be unboxing a bit of a relic. Now, while this product is not that old, it is still a bit of a rarity because not very many people bought them. This is the OCC Enyo. This is a USB 3 portable solid state drive. This was first shown at CES 2010. And check this out, check this out. This is how long this unit has been sitting in our warehouse. See the dust on my finger? Yeah, disgusting. Okay, so this is the 128 gig version, and what OCZ was attempting to accomplish with this particular product was a way for users to have a portable USB flash drive that is as durable as a USB flash drive, but offers a much larger amount of storage. So when this drive was released, the biggest USB drives were in the 32 gig range. So while the size of this device is larger than a USB drive, the speed is vastly superior. Okay, it offers uh, read and write speeds up to, I guess, hopefully it'll tell us at some point because I don't actually know, um, but dramatically superior speeds and larger capacity, but the drawback is that it is also significantly larger than a USB flash drive. So here, I'm going to show you guys the Enyo. Here it is. So this uses a 1.8 inch SATA 2 drive. This is an Indolinx drive inside a very slick aluminum enclosure. So this is a very classy looking product. It's got a custom interface on the back. So that is a USB 3 interface that is somehow, I guess, adapted for SATA power and data. Let's, ha let's have a look at the cable that's included and see just what kind of fancy schmancy cable we're dealing with here because I've never seen this cable before. Here we go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, the reason I'm not familiar with this is just because I haven't used much USB 3 stuff. This is just a USB 3 mini B cable. There you go. So micro USB 3 is what they're calling this, and that is B. So uh, that's super speed USB 3. So remember, USB 3 is up to 10 times the speed of USB 2. All right, it comes with a nice high quality, uh, very flexible cable here. USB 3 connector on the one end, and then we've got the micro connector on the other end. And then, um, actually, hold on, give me two seconds. So I just had to create a partition on the drive, so I'm going to go ahead and take my benchmarking and drivers folders, uh, which total about 5 gigs. I'm going to copy them over to local disk Y. Bam! So fast! Okay, that was just the, the burst at the beginning. So the actual sustained transfer speeds that we can get out of this are around 130 to 100 and ish megabytes per second. Very, very respectable, so we're pretty much uh, up there at the limits for uh, USB 3. Uh, that's about Oh well, yeah, camera man was zoomed in too far. That's why it was blurry. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Very fast. Um, not a lot of people bought them, but you know, it was pretty expensive at the time. I think the 128 gig drive upon release was in the 400 to 500 dollar range. So thank you for checking out this unboxing. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.